Hi, my name is Carl Kamenisch. I represent City Theatrical, based in Karlstadt, New Jersey, where we invent and manufacture all our products here that you'll see today. I come from a background of uh, film and, uh, and broadcast, but our company's primary business is theatrical accessories and control systems for Broadway stage and theater. We've had a long history of working with the Broadway professionals, going back many years with our wireless DMX, which we started in 2002. The 5701 is our newest Neo receiver. It has 132 show IDs. Now show ID means that we use different patterns of RF transmission that hop around the frequency band of 2.4 gigahertz to produce a very robust and reliable transmission that does not interfere with as well as being a very solid transmission to the receivers that are on the show. Other things that could be on the show that could disrupt that would be your uh, audio wireless and shows next door. That's pretty important to know that we have been in this business long enough to know what we're doing with wireless DMX. Now, something new on the scene, and I'll bring it up now, is the advent of LEDs and LED tape. This is a reel of LED tape. That's normally sold in 16-foot reels. That is representing a, a, a new event now on the Broadway stage because they're starting to use it for all kinds of lighting, uh, well, accent and space lighting. Now, as I bring up the dimmer, to notice the gradual softness of that curve as I bring up three strips of the red. They're all set to the same channel. And I'm using a transmitter here, which is the baby, if you will, from the parent. It actually only uses one show ID here. The 201 was the original. And I'm set up now to transmit on the adaptive frequency hopping uh, channel that's called 201. And as you can see, we have a very gradual and soft dimming curve that's available as the LED dimming curve. There are four dimming curves that you can get on any of our dimmers. They all have bump buttons as well. Let me demonstrate that. Here's red, green, and blue. The other show baby here to talk a little bit more about wireless DMX is the latest one. It's the Show Baby 5. If I change the Show ID by a simple pressing of the pin in the back, you will see it go to a blue. That's a Show ID of 102. You notice I'm broadcasting there on this green band, but now I'm not seeing any kind of reception in these area of these LEDs on this, the side. That's because it's set over here to the show ID of 201. I can just go ahead and press this once and you will see immediately what happens is now I'm receiving uh, the show ID blue setting, which is 102 on the second show baby ID. There are five IDs that I can use on the show baby five. And now if I go back to the original and just by pushing it, I get back to the the original green setting here. Okay. And so I'm back into control of my three wireless radios that I have actually illuminated here with RGB and RGBA tape. Well, we're going to talk about what's the difference between RGB and RGBA tape and why it's very important now as we go to more and more film capture, uh, image capture, and video um, recording. So I can do red, green, and blue, and that gives me a sort of white. It's kind of probably in the picture looking mostly blue. By the way, there are six channels here going through the D2 dimmer, which is wireless, connected to the D4 dimmer, which has four channels. So there's six channels. Each one of these channels can go up to five amps uh, 10 amps total for the D2 and the D4, so that would be 5 amps per channel. Now on the D4, dividing by 4, I can only do 2.5 when I'm fully loading it. 
just to show you what else I've got here available on my channel five, I have another white strip, and then I have an incandescent uh, candle tip, and you see that uh, that is now dimmable. That's something very hard to do, and very soft as well. I can take that all the way to zero extinguishing very, very nicely and gradually. Something else that City Theatrical has developed. The last thing I'd like to show and point out to you is the idea of R, G, B, and now to capture a softer white on the RGBA tape, you're going to see these little amber lights come up, but it's not really obvious what's happening until you use a diffuser of some kind. And then with the diffuser, you get the softness in a integration of the light together and you don't notice the individuals. This is what's happening on TV studios and sets everywhere is they're able to then white color balance using the fourth channel. Well the fourth channel is what we have on the D4 but we have something else here that with a battery and the dimmer together we can control the, the dimming curve as well as the power and now it's a completely portable so on costumes and sets we can actually move this around under control as you'll see here and it doesn't need to be in the same area in fact it'll go up to 200 feet and this is one of the things that we find that's not only useful in applications but for demonstration salespeople now can actually put in their briefcase a complete demo set which includes not only the dimmer and the uh, this strip right here which is the RGBA tape and then with one show baby I'm now capable of taking this out to the field. For more information on our products from City Theatrical please visit the fullcompass.com website or call your Full Compass representative.